dear students how are you all welcome to the maths class of standard 3 i am shweta and i am teaching chapter number 3 subtraction and this is video number 5 students in this video we will learn how to solve statements sums okay here i have written a question as you can see that 500 people were invited to a party okay there was a party is being organized and in that party 500 people were invited okay but 230 people could not come due to bad weather that day when the party was held that day the weather was very bad so 230 people decided not to go in the party okay how many people invited 500 people invited and how many people have decided not to go in the party 230 people decided that they will not go to the party okay now what we have to find out we have to find find out how many people come to the party okay out of 500 230 have decided not to go in the party so how many people have attended the party to solve that problem first we will write this statement and after that we will solve the problem okay so here as you can see i have written the three statements like that you have to write people invited to a party okay first statement was here 500 people were invited to a party okay so how many people were invited to a party people invited to a party 500 Okay, how many people invited to a party? Five hundred people invited to a party. Okay, after that, second statement, people could not come to a party. How many people have decided that they will not go to the party due to the bad weather? Two hundred and thirty people. So here we will write two hundred and thirty. Okay, so first and second statement is clear. People invited to a party means those people who were invited for the party to attend the party number was 500 people could not come to a party in that we have to write the peoples the number that is written in the question that they have decided not to go in the party now we have to find out what total people come to the party how many people have really gone in the party so For to find out what we have to do, we have to add or subtract. We have to add this number or subtract this number. For that, we have to subtract this number because we have to find out that how many people really went to the party. Okay? To subtract the number, we will give the minus sign, and after we will do the subtraction. Zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus three, not possible. So it will ask one from this hundreds place. Okay, then this zero will become ten. Okay, now ten minus three, seven. Okay, how it became ten? Because this is the place of tens, and when it will ask one hundred from the hundreds place. One hundred is equal to ten tens. That's why I have written here ten because this place is for tens place. So one hundred is equal to ten tens. This is hundred place, tens place, and ones place. Okay. Now this five will become four because it already has given one hundred to the tens place. Now four minus two is equal to two. Now we can find out that total people come to the party two seventy. Okay. Now we have to write this answer in the statement. How we will write? We will thus we can write thus. How many people come to the party? Two seventy. Two seventy people come to the party. Come to the party. Understood this? 
Like this, you have to solve the statement problems. Pause this video and write these examples in your maths copy. Now, look at the another example. In the village, there are 1500 neem trees and 1200 people trees. That village was filled with 1500 neem trees and 1200 people trees. 450 trees are cut down to make road and the construction was going on in that village. So they have cut 450 trees. Okay, it is not mentioned that how many neem trees and how many people trees cut down to make the road. It is all together, together written that 450 trees are cut down. Okay, so what we have to do? We have to find out how many trees are left in the village now. First, the village was filled with 1500 neem trees and 1200 pepper trees. So first, we have to find out that how many trees were all together in the village. Okay, so here I have written the statements already. You can see neem trees in the village. How many neem trees were there? 1500. Okay. Now, how many pepper trees were there? 1200. Okay. Now, what we have to first find out? First, we have to find out that how many trees were all together there. Okay. So, to do that, what we have to do? We have to add this number. Okay. Now, we will add this 0 plus 0. 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 5 plus 2, 7, 1 plus 1, 2. So, all together in that village, there were 2700 trees. Okay? But to make the road, the people have cut 450 trees. Okay? Now, we have to find out that how many trees are left in that village now. Okay. Total trees in village. This is we already have find out. Now trees cut down to make road. How many trees cut down? 450. Okay. Now what we have to do to find out the uh, trees that are that were left in that village. We have to subtract. Isn't it? Yes. Now what we have to do? 0 minus 0. 0. 0 minus 5. It is not possible. So it will ask 100 from this place because this is the place of 100. This is the place of 1000, 100, tens and ones. So this tens place is asking 100 from this place. So, this 7 will become 6 and this will give 10 tens to this place. Okay. Now, 10 minus 5, 5, 6 minus 4, 2 and 2 we have to write as it is because it is not nothing written in this place. 1000 place here means 0 it is. Okay. If it is not written anything that we have to assume that the, here 0 is placed. Okay. So 2 minus 0, 2. So now we have find out that how many trees are left in that village? 2250. So now we will write the statement. Trees left. In the village okay is equal to so now this answer is the part of this statement trees left in the village is equal to 2250 
50. Now we will write the statement answer. Thus, 200, 2,250 trees left in the village okay so this is the problem in which what we have to do first we have to find out the total number of trees all together so first we have add the numbers and after what we have to do we have to find out that after cutting the tree how many trees are left in the village. So, to find out that we have subtracted. Okay. Hope you have understood this example also very well. Just pause this video and write these examples also in your maths notebook. So, till now we have already have studied that how to solve the word problems. First, we have to write the statements and after that we have to solve that problem. Okay. Now, this is something different. Here what we have to do? Framing a statement sum. What does it mean? It means here is given a statement. You can easily read and understand that what we have to do in this. 10x minus 3x is equal to how much x. So the statement is given already and what we have to do? We have to frame this statement to form the word problem. We don't have to solve this problem. Okay. We have to Frame this statement to form the word problem. Okay. So, how we can frame this statement to the word problem? Here written 10x minus 3x. So, I can say that I bought 10x. I at a 3x. Means from 10 we have to subtract 3 to find out how many x are left with me. Okay. So, this is called framing a statement to form the word problem. So, how we will write the word problem according to the given statement? 10x. So, here I can write, I bought, I bought 10x. Okay. After buying, what I have done? 3x, I have removed. Means I can write, I add a, I add up 3x. Okay. Now, how many x? So, I can write how many x are left with me. How many x are left with me. Or only you can write how many x are left. Okay. So, this is how we have to frame the statements to form the word problem. Here the subtraction sign is given. So, I have to remove a part of the x from the given collection. So, here I have written I bought 10x. I add up 3x. How many x are left? So, if for, to solve this problem, definitely I have to subtract 3 from the 10x to find out the answer. But here we don't have to solve this problem. We have only to write the word problem according to the given statement. So hopefully, this is very much understood to you. So, just pause this video and write these examples in your maths copy. Now, look at the another example. Here I have written 5 apples plus 5 bananas. How much fruits? So, how we can frame this statement to form the word problem? I can write, there are 5 apples and 5 bananas in a basket. Okay, there is a basket in which 5 apples and 5 bananas are there. Now we have to find out how many 
fruits are all together in the basket. Okay. So we are going to write that. There are five apples and five bananas in a basket. Okay? The statement is given written. There are five apples and five bananas in a basket. What we have to find out? Addition. So we have to find out the fruits that are all together in the basket. So we can write here how many fruits fruits are all together in the basket. Okay? There are 5 apples and 5 bananas in a basket. How many fruits are all together in the basket? So, to solve this, what we have to do? We have to add 5 apples plus 5 bananas. Then we will get the answer. Total number of fruits. So, I hope that this is very much clear to you to how to frame this statement to form the word problem. Okay? Pause this video and write this also in your maths notebook.